So now the waiting game begins, and I'm waiting for my previously released single to disappear from all of the different sites that CD Baby, you know, distributes to automatically or intentionally. Uh, and most of them are pretty quick. Like, I mean, there's the, a couple of the big ones, they're already gone, but there's one, at least that I know of, that's left, and it's YouTube. And ironically, as I'm Googling, you know, how long does it take for my release to be removed from streaming? A fucking page on DistroKid comes up with exactly that information. Like, I mean, DistroKid is really endearing themselves to me by, well, first of all, I don't know if they're going to suck or if they're going to do great. We'll see. That remains to be seen. But they certainly have the answers on their support forum. And a lot of you have been commenting, and thank you for that, telling me about your experiences with CD Baby DistroKid, good, bad, and everything in between. And so I appreciate your feedback because that really helps me feel like I'm not the only one that's going through this shit. But uh, sure enough, it's right there in black and white it takes around four weeks for youtube for the content id system of youtube to sort of just forget about a song that has been called back from cd baby or distro kid i suppose because it seems to be the same kind of weight on both services the clock is ticking and man i'm so fucking ready to release singles like you have no idea Finally seeing the uh, incorrect release of my first single is uh, now being removed from all the different places where it was not supposed to be. So I go to those different artist pages with a name similar to mine, and I don't see the single anymore, which is great. That's a good start. It's the big guys, you know, Spotify, YouTube, they're taking a little bit longer. I mean, they're huge. What are you going to do? You got to wait. But I know the day's going to come. So in the meantime, I'm preparing. I'm picking up where I left off with the promotional materials. So I've got a music video already in the bag. Uh, I've got a lyric video in the bag. This is the performance video. And, uh, and I'm realizing, because I did some footage uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it took me 75 takes to remember how I did that run on the drums. Because when I did the original, you know, final drum take, I was lucky to get by with this flourish. I'm like, oh, yeah, thank goodness it came out. But now I got to play along with the song and remember how to do it because I'm just I'm being a perfectionist. Right. But I don't want it to just be like this standard beat. And in the track, you hear, you know, it's like, no, you got to do it right. So playing along with myself in order to make the performance video look like. I actually performed the freaking thing. That's a challenge, man. So there's a lot of cutting and pasting and editing going along. 75 takes of the same, you know, pass. My hope is it'll be transparent to you, the viewer, when it's all said and done. It'll look like I did it in one pass. So if you're watching this behind the scenes, yeah, I'll tell you the truth. I'm coming clean. It took me fucking forever to remember a few riffs. Bah, that's the way it goes.